Return for mindfulness. And this is saying Curry, I did it a while ago, because you know, I've talked about this probably over the last 18 months or so of me getting more and more into the concept of mindfulness and my belief in it and how important it is for things you do in life. And what, you know, there's loads of ways to practice mindfulness, but one of the ways is concentrating on an object, you know, becoming hyper aware of your surroundings. So for example, I have a pen here. It's quite a chewed pen because I chew my pens. It's a terrible habit. But if I was to really focus on the pen, what the pen looks like, the shape of the pen, the colour of the blue, the fact of the shape of where the lip comes out, the little metal bit here. Doing terrible descriptions, but really focusing on the shape, the texture, everything about it. That's how you slow your brain down, you focus, you get rid of all the noise and you just bring yourself in on something. And it's a way to bring a moment of calm to yourself. And that's one illustration of it. I was sitting here in my living room at some point a little while ago and we were watching a bit of TV and as part of the watching the TV I started looking at the, the coving around the top of my ceiling and how it looks and just really being in that one moment and as you know Joe, I've been on a massive uh, mission of decorating and actually I was thinking that, oh it's really relaxing in this room and starting to you know take in the surroundings and feeling really that and it triggered in my head so oh, this is a real mindfulness thing. And then I realised it triggered something else, which was more of a memory. And actually, this behaviour of being very aware of the room and its shape. And I do things like, you imagine, oh, I could change this and put this here. and just, But not like busy, 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 more relaxing and really taking in, again, the shape and everything. I'm labouring on this point a lot. And I remember I used to do that back in my teens when I was at home, home, home family home with my mum and we're watching tv and i do the same sort of thing and it suddenly clicked that all this mindfulness i strive for now i used to do it without even realizing it was mindfulness and then things got busier and life got busier and stresses came in and you know went through all my journey of various things and i stopped that habit and i feel like i've now come back to doing that but it's almost a byproduct of being more relaxed and comfortable with where I am, I think. And this is why I say it's a return for mindfulness in that I think I had that 